Hey guys, it's Jay Snow, and we're doing a Team Mog video for you guys, so I can actually play WoW just on very low settings, and of course there won't be much editing done, because I'm not at my main computer, and I'm going to be using Trial Sony Vegas, but we're, this is actually a common farm spot, but I just wanted to do like an exact way to do it, the fastest way probably to do it. So Blackwing Lair, you can get there by going to Black Rock Mountain, and then right before you enter Black Rock, uh, what do you call it, the dungeon before it, there's a guy, a, I think it's called Sacred, a Scarlet, Warrior, you kill him and then you get the two minute quest that you pick up, so then you could use the orb to get here really fast. So, after beating the second boss, no, third boss, you're gonna head into this room right here in Blackwing Lair, right after the Welves where they did the Leroy, I think. And once you get past there, you're gonna enter this room with all these people, scientists and, and technicians. What you're gonna be doing is pulling all of them and they spawn unlimitedly. So, let me actually just pick up this loot that I left here. So you're going to get a lot of really high rare greens like Hyperion sets and stuff, so you can, you, can, you can get a lot of money from here. So what you need is a hunter and a pet that has stealth. So I have a cat from the Jade Forest, and what you want to do is you want to go to your spells, go to pet, and then have him move into the corner with stealth so he doesn't pick up any of the mobs. Now what you're going to do is make yourself, oh, another green. Ooh, a green. I mean, ooh, some loot. So what you're going to do is head all the way up here, so let me make this a little bit faster. And you're going to pull every pack, but you're going to skip the second dragon boss. There's one dragon boss in this room. You want to kill the first one downstairs or wherever he is, but the one that flies up here, you want to avoid at all costs. Otherwise, the mobs stop spawning. You also don't need to pull these Death Town Worm Guards because they don't... I mean, they do drop loot, but they're not part of it. So what you want to do is pull every big mob you see. Because you don't want to hit the little guys, like I just did by, right there by accident, because you can kill them pretty easily. And you just want to pull every drake and then start using disengage and any other movement effects you have to start moving faster. So I would definitely get the glyph of disengage that allows you to disengage farther. I would also get uh, deterrence, uh, if there's a glyph of deterrence, I don't remember, uh, what do you call it. So just in case you start taking a ton of damage. And make sure you're specced for spirit bond, because you will recover 3% of your total health every 2 seconds. And so this is a must, otherwise once you have really good gear you're going to die pretty quickly. So just hug the corner for a couple of seconds to wait for the mobs to gather up. Now you're going to skip all the mobs in front of you. Make sure you're not hitting any mobs right next to you, so you want to back up a little bit. And then start killing the technicians and warlocks. The warlocks will start summoning unlimited mobs. So you just want to avoid them and just moan down. So once you think you've killed enough of them, which I'm just going to stop early now, do feign death. And all, what do you call it, the enemies sh uh, should disappear. Now, wow, really? Alright, I've never had this happen before, but a pair, your pet should be safe, but I don't know how to spell guard. So I magically found my pet. But your pet should be away from the mobs, allowing you to disengage. Otherwise, you have to dismiss your pet every time while getting hit for a ton. And then, uh, then you have to, what do you call it, then you have to feign death. So it can get pretty annoying, so that's why I have a stealth pet in the corner. So, actually, it looks like the mobs are still spawning, so that's an issue. Oh, I just pick it up, so I got a dragon thing, tons of rune cloth. Ooh, Hero's Gauntlets, let's look at those. Oh, those look pretty cool. Hero's Gauntlets, what else do we get? Alright, lots of hourglass sand. I think that's completely useless, I'm not sure what that's for. And you can get some pretty rare, other rare items from this, so. Hey, thank you guys for watching, as always. Subscribe for more wild videos. You should net about 7k gold, or 5, 5k gold, the absolute minimum, but... 7k gold depending on what server you're on. So thanks for watching as always. See you guys next time.